Alright, you remember when Baba made this statement and it earned him some criticism. This. Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. Because it means you have to love your wife to the extent of being willing to die for her. And that is a big one. I'm sure you've heard me say it before, you can do whatever you like to me, you can criticize me, you can insult me, you can trample on me. I will only pray for you. You mess around with my wife, I will kill you. I will kill you so thoroughly, you won't even be able to rise on the resurrection money. And when some people say, but how are you going to do that? Well, I tell my daddy to send you to hell straight away. But there'll be no need for you to come up for judgment. You pay you that. Someone says, how are you going to kill somebody? Won't the government uh, kill you in return? Who told you I'm going to shoot people? You can only arrest me if I use any human weapon. To mess around with my wife, then every power that God has given me will descend on you. Why? Because the Bible says you have to love your wife as Christ loved the church. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. You know, the church is, uh, is becoming so funny that everybody wants to twist everything and quote people out of context. We all know that Adeboye was never going to physically kill anybody. When he made that statement, he was talking to his workers. But that was actually when, you know, so many criticisms were, were coming from left, right and center, back and front. To the extent that the man lost his, his son and people and said he sacrificed his son. Ah, Jesus. See... Uh, I mean, the church space, we, we are becoming so wicked. So he made this statement that time. And eventually, um, it got to him. Now, one, if you don't love Adeboye for anything, love him because he doesn't react to criticisms. Even when the criticisms are, are wrong, are so, are so unnecessary. He doesn't react negatively. That, I think that is a word, not that he doesn't react. He doesn't react negatively. Hey, read my lips. I'm not a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And I know I have my own you know, uh, uh, share of haters from the Redeemed Christian Church of God as well. So I'm not speaking for anybody to, to like me. It is your business, all right? Now, if you, don't, if you don't accept anything from him, at least accept the fact that he has the humility of heart to assimilate these things, you know, digest them. And when he will speak, he speaks from his own heart so eventually he has decided as well to apologize on that that because he now felt it was wrong to have used that word and what he said thank you for your attention there's something one, one more thing that i need to apologize about this one doesn't concern many of those people outside it concerns you you know i've always said when i want to let you know how much I love my wife. I've always said that you can do whatever you like to me, but if you dare touch my wife, I will kill you. How many of you have heard that one before? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I said that. Because the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. So, um, I apologize. So, in that case, what, what are you going to do? You are now opening the door for us to attack your wife. No! I've discovered a better prayer. <laughs> what is a better prayer? You want me to tell you? Uh, <laughs> I will only tell you in proverb. You know in Acts of the Apostles chapter 9, when Paul was on the way to Damascus, the Christians in Damascus, they didn't know he was coming. They didn't know 
trouble was coming but god stopped him on the way by the time he arrived with the among the people that he was going to kill and take to prison he has already become a brother uh, uh, so so you get it sorry <laughs> let somebody shout hallelujah so it is time to pray uh, just one more thing before <laughs> before i forget if you are my son whether a pastor or not a pastor and you discover that i am wrong because I have said it before, the first thing you learn in advanced mathematics is that anybody can be wrong. I'm sure I've told you that one before. And I told my children on Thursday, it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. And I gave them an illustration. I said, I said as a scientist, I know for years we taught that light travels in straight lines which is correct. Light never bend to take corners. No, it goes straight. But later on, we discover that light does not travel as a rod. It travels straight, but not as a rod, but in waves. It goes galloping like the waves of the sea. That's how light travels. So initially, we were right. It travels in straight lines. But we didn't know that he traveled in waves. So it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. And I'm always ready to learn. So if you as my child discovered something that I'm doing wrong or I'm saying wrong, please come and tell me. I won't chase you away and say, who are you? Uh, don't you know I'm the general overseer? You little boy. <laughs> and by now you should know that if I have any weakness, by the grace of God, pride is not one of them. No, not at all. If you discover that I've, I'm doing something wrong, or I've said something wrong, come to me and explain to me quietly. Don't put it on the internet. You know why? A child that exposes the nakedness of his father is in serious trouble. You know the story of Noah now. Noah got drunk. Hmm? Great man of God. He got drunk inside his tent. Too. He didn't go to the bar. He was in his house. And he got drunk. And he was on the floor, naked. And the youngest son came in and saw Papa naked. <laughs> and he, he ran out to go and tell the other two brothers, Hey, come and look, oh, Papa is drunk. He's lying on the floor naked. The elder brothers, they said, ah, we will not even see the nakedness of our father. So they took a piece of cloth and they walked in backwards so that they won't see the nakedness of their father and covered Papa with cloth. You know what followed when Papa woke up? Don't expose the nakedness of your father. It is dangerous, so God will bless you. All right. Uh, have you forgiven me for anything I've said wrong? Uh, if, if, if at least you are forgiving me, let me hear you shout hallelujah. <laughs>So, like he asked, maybe you want him to tell you what he found out. So now, from from his re, from his um, uh, from, from his reaction, now you understand that his killing is not was not that he was going to kill anybody physically. He was going to pray against the person. I know you already typing that. That is witchcraft. That is witchcraft. That is witchcraft. That is witchcraft. Sometimes some of us who who said these things when we we came face to face with witchcraft and we are at the point of you know needing help any prayer that comes anybody who did this thing to you may he receive it in hundredfold you shout the loudest amen well i'm not saying you should kill your enemy that's not what i'm saying that's not what i'm saying but before you say something be sure that you mean it from your heart now listen to what he said he found a different ideas all right so now he 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 would prefer instead of that person dying before the person could become an enemy let god touch the person and convert the person and make him a friend make the person a brother make the person a sister instead of that person dying so the prayer he is praying now is for the enemies of his family his enemies to accept christ and become christians so that they will love him and love his wife instead of insulting and attacking his wife i think that is a, a good thing and it should also be imbibed you know 
by you and, and me, let's not just criticize and criticize and criticize and criticize. I know you are typing. I am a hypocrite. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you here today. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay blessed and stay rapturable. Love, love, be, be, you know, love people. And so you'll be lovable because whatever you give, you receive. Thank you and God bless you. See you in the next video till then. From me to you, shalom.